I get this a lot. Um, hello there. I just got my first radio license, and uh, but I don't have much money. Um, what can I get for a hundred bucks to get on the uh, HF bands? Well, glad you asked. Um, this is your answer. It's the uh, Yaesu FT747. It's a very old radio. And it's fairly small, but it has all the controls you need. Um, just a few buttons, easy to operate. It still gives you 100. It still gives you 100 watts output, and uh, you plug in your Morse key if you want. And it's also computer aided, so you can connect it to uh, to your PC and jump on frequency, remote control it, and, and what have you. The or the display is nice and easy to read, bright orange. Um, if you buy one of these, just make sure that the the VFO encoder is nice and clicky, just like this one, and that the VFO knob doesn't wobble about, because the VFO is part of the front panel assembly, and it's very hard to repair. They wear out um, if they're not being taken care of during uh, the lifetime of the radio. Um, well, I always have one on standby. They perform quite well. The front-facing speaker is, is handy to have, but uh, of course you find plenty of um, sockets at the back and you can install your external speaker, plug in a headphone if you like, and uh, they're very light and even if you need to um, service it in the field for example, they come apart quite easily. Just slide off the side panels, slide bars, one, and there's another one here on this side, it comes off just like this. But uh, trust me, it comes apart quite easily, and you could do much worse than this one. Costs you around 100 bucks, maybe 150 if you want to stretch your budget a little bit, and uh, it will last you a long, long time, I promise you. It's got a fan here as well, make sure this rotates, keeps the uh, final amplifier cool. So this is my recommendation if you are on a budget. It's a great anti entry uh, radio or a second one in the shack. If you need a second one, um, if you see one that's clean, at a reasonable price, you could do much, much worse, trust me. Let's just uh, put it on the power supply and onto an antenna and see what the display uh, looks like um, when the ra radio is up and running. Let's have a quick look inside, shall we? Okay, uh, this is what it looks like inside. I hope the camera picks this up uh, okay. You can see it's fully filtered. This one has the optional CW narrow filter installed. This um, vertically installed board is the FM unit, which I believe does not come as standard, but uh, um, if it comes with it, fine. You can only use it on 10 meters anyway. Having said that, this is general coverage, so um, it works on all frequencies between 1.6 and 30 megahertz. This is the PA block, very sturdy with a built-in fan to keep it cool, make sure it spins nicely. The low-pass filter is part of the assembly as well. Um, as you can see, there's not much inside. Easy to service, easy to align. Um, spare parts are about plenty. Just ask me. Great condition, actually. Oh, no. 